We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens His will to make known. What? How would you define gratitude? Thankfulness, um, appreciativeness, uh, a lot of misses. Um, but being aware of and take away a positive from someone, whether it be ourselves, our family, or strangers, being happy with what you've done, what you're doing, who you are, and any number of things. How has it been important in your life? Has gratitude played an important role in your life? It does. We all look for gratification. We all, using the word as a definition, there we go. But it's, it, we're all looking for acceptance, for understanding, for credit for something in some way, shape, or form. Um, we all look for someone to pat us on the back sometimes. Um, whether it be for something we've done, um, whether it be job or family or um, pretty much anything in life. And uh, so I, I, I think it's important, and it adds to your self-esteem, your self-worth. And if you have good self-esteem and good self-worth, I think you put out a better product than anything you do, whether it's work or home or family or friends. Um, the happier you are, it shows in what you do. Do you have any practices or anything you do to foster gratitude in your own life? It, I'm sure I do. Um, you know, being put on the spot and having to answer that question is a little tougher. Um, I, I was raised to be polite, so um, try to display gratitude towards others, having to do with manners and having to do with appreciation of what others do, and realize how that impacts other people when you reciprocate or even just be the first person out there. Um, a lot of people look at our job as somewhat of a negative thing or have negative run-ins with us because of mistakes they made or dumb things they did. And you never can lose or be out of touch with the fact you're dealing with other human beings. Human beings make mistakes. Human beings forget to think before they act. And um, you know some people do some really bad things. The majority of people we deal with make mistakes. They errors in judgment. They act before they think. They speak before they think. I think we're all guilty of that. And so put that thought into my job and never forget the human component and realize that even though someone's made a mistake, messed up, done something bad, that still have to look for the positive or at least look for encouraging them to reform, have self-worth, um, and to hopefully change what they've done or change the negative aspect of whatever's going on into a positive. What are some things you personally are grateful for? Um, my family, of course, my wife and daughter, uh, my parents. Uh, without any of all of them, um, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be uh, if you want to call it successful, I wouldn't be happy. Um, I'm grateful for where I work. Uh, kind of sounds like a shameless plug, but I'm very lucky. I work in a place that's small. We know everyone. Not only the people I work for and with, but the people I work for on a grander scale, the town of West Pelzer. Um, I really, even during the height of the negative sentiment towards law enforcement, I was getting hugs from different people from different ethnic backgrounds, from different um, racial backgrounds, from different religious backgrounds. Thank you, we appreciate you, what you do. We know it's a tough time. I think I'm one of the luckiest people in law enforcement in this county, in this state, because a lot of other places don't experience that. Uh, I've certainly found a home and the vast majority, there's some people that don't like us, but the vast majority of people in this town have really embraced myself and everyone that works with me and shown us that we want you here. This is your home and we appreciate what you do. 
yeah, I may have run a stop sign, I may have gone too fast, but you treated me well. So we still appreciate you. Um, so it, it's, it's, a, it's a good place with good people. Uh, boss couldn't be any better. Uh, lucky I went from one job with the county where my boss was an incredible man, still is, uh, Rusty. And I've gone to working for Blake Sanders, who's our mayor. It's kind of a younger version of him. And they're, they're both incredible people. Um, and they, they encourage that whole of community, but also the whole of the workplace, getting along, talking to each other. Um, my relationship with these people doesn't end at 5 p.m. Uh, we may not socialize, we may not go out to dinner, but I know I can call anyone I work with or work for or did work for even and just chat. I had a bad day. I can still call my ex-boss, my current boss. Hey, do you have a few minutes? And, and that is priceless. How would you respond if somebody said to you, I don't think I've got anything to be grateful for? I think we all have something to be grateful for. Um, you know, our parents and God have put us here, um, given us the ability to experience good and bad have given us the ability to learn, to grow, to make mistakes, to stumble, and pick ourselves up or have someone help pick us up. Um, I've been at in a good place like I am now, and I've been in pretty bad places where I was not really sure what or if the future would hold anything. And it, we had a saying, being a paramedic, uh, old saying from when I used to work up north, if it's not fatal, it's no big deal. That's really not true because even the smallest things can be a big deal. But that's one of the few things you can't recover from. If you're alive and breathing, you may just have to look in the right door or ask the right person. You may have to struggle a little more, but there's plenty of ways to get help. Do you think it's important that we set aside a season of the year to talk about Thanksgiving and gratitude and stuff? No, I think we need to do it every day. Uh, I mean, it's great, and it's great that we put it in the spotlight in the forefront now, but I think we need to be that way every day. I think um, my daughter is very polite. We're not sure where that came from, but as you know, she's got autism, and we're, we at one time we were, never thought she'd speak. Um, we've been told many a time that we have one of the most polite kids in the world. Kid, she's 27. But it, it's a way of life. And it's not really bragging on my kid. If we can all be like her, if we can all be like so many of the others that I deal with within the special populations, um, world be a lot better place. And I think if we can do it every day, like my daughter does or anyone else um, that's in that group or in any group where they tend to be happy more, she has her down days, but she gets over it. And I, I, I think to roll it down to one moment, one day, one week, we're, we're, what about all the other days? What about all the other weeks? What about all the other seasons? A lot of good things come out of the other three seasons of the year, um, out of the other 11 months, out of the other 364 days. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens His will to make known the weak.